Hi guys! Uh, sorry I kind of haven't spoken to you in a while. I mean, I know I did that video a couple of days ago, but I haven't spoken to you in a while. Yeah, sorry about that. I just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth for about two months? A month? Can't remember now. Basically this is going to be a bit of a catch up vlog considering I haven't done anything in a while. So I just tell you what's been going on in my life and yeah. Well for a start, where I am in England, it's been suddenly really hot. Like on Monday, like no heat whatsoever, it was just normal sort of dreary May weather. But then it just suddenly went like BAM heat wave. And then everyone was just like oh my god, it's so hot. The thing is, in England we're kind of used to a gradual build up to summer and then it stays for about two days and it goes. But not just sudden sort of onslaught of temperature, which is what happened. And I have to get a bus to school and it wasn't that bad in the morning, but in the afternoon, oh god, the air conditioning is like never on. I swear they have the air conditioning on in the winter and the heating on in the summer. But everyone was just sat there like, dying, oh my god, air now. And the windows are only like this big, so it's a bit inconvenient for breathing and then people spray deodorants and stuff and that's even worse when it's in the heat okay so last week i had my end of year exams week because at my school they decided to give us end of year exams for whatever reason and um that was really stressful uh i just went through so much stress and oh i'm not very good at dealing with stress and the thing is i mean if the exams actually meant something that would be okay but they are actually quite pointless because yeah, they kind of show how well you've been doing and and give you a target grade for GCSE or whatever. But they don't really mean anything. They just are there to showcase your abilities. Which means we get put through a lot of stress for something that doesn't mean much in terms of our futures. They don't get considered for anything. I mean, they might get looked at slightly for our options, but I don't think they get put into much consideration. Which just makes them seem even more pointless. Especially for people, like, I know a lot of people who get very, very stressed, like, under exam conditions, and it's not good for them. Also, while I've been away, I've been sucked into the void of Tumblr. I mean, I've had a Tumblr for a while, but I've never really used it. So one day I just decided to go on there, and my friend Emily, who is Don't Call Me Ed on YouTube, or I'm my carrot on Twitter, and Unicorns Eat Carrots on Tumblr, started using her tumblr and we're vlogging loads and loads of mcr stuff and if you don't do mcr there they are and so i just kind of reblogged that and then i just got back into tumblr again and now i can't seem to get off of it i'll go on tumblr and then stay on it for about an hour and not realize that time has passed at all i've just been scrolling through my dash reblogging everything seriously i'm so happy that ellie told me how to use the alt reblog function i really hate having to go through that screen in between reblogging something and i don't really want to put a comment I just want to reblog it, but it takes so long, so alt reblog is like now my saviour. One thing that I came across on Tumblr is that when My Chemical Romance played Bamboozle Festival, there was a sudden explosion of Gerard and Frank's new hair, and everyone was fangirling because Gerard's gone back to his natural colour and Frank's hair started growing back. It was quite funny to watch people fangirling, but they got hated on. It might not just all be fake. Some people relate it to going back to the Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge era, which was one of their best eras, I think. They're excited on how their look may affect their music, and everyone's really excited to see what sort of stuff they'll be doing. Also, while you've been away, my wall has changed a lot. I no longer have weird stuff on my wall from my wall of stuff, so I have a load of band posters, which I will show you now. So we start over here by my door. In the top corner, you can see my chemical romance, chameleon circuit, Giant Frank Iero from My Chemical Romance, My Chemical Romance, Yumi at Six, Hayley Williams from Paramore, Gerard Way, Gerard Way, a picture of me as a child, I look like such a cool kid, a calendar, Yumi at Six, Yumi at Six, Green Day, Frank Iero, Fall Out Boy, Yumi at Six, Doctor Who Experience poster, Doctor Who poster, poster that Ellie made for me for Christmas and my McFly poster as well as a started wall of train tickets which has five tickets on it. As I was talking about exams earlier, I've also got a slightly bigger one coming up. An RE GCSE. It's my first GCSE and I am absolutely terrified. 
I had the mock a couple of weeks ago and I got a B slash A. Well, technically it was a B, but the teachers just wanted to make you feel better and just like, oh, yes, it's a B slash A because you got a B and you could easily get up to an A. Yeah, I'm, I'm still terrified. I did better in all my homeworks than I did in the mock, and according to my teacher, I've gone down half a grade over the course of the year. That's not good. I should be going up or staying the same. And it's really stressful because in that week, it's on the 16th of June, I think. And on that week, I have Monday, RE exam. Wednesday, going to Cambridge University for a visit because of something my school's doing. Saturday, piano exam. Ah, uh, so much worry and terror. Not so much terror for the Cambridge University thing, but being worried. Ugh. Why is everything in that week? Also, another thing that's been happening recently, my iPod does this thing where it just likes to cut out suddenly and it goes onto this thing that I like to call a white screen of death. The screen either goes straight white, turns off, or fades very slowly to white, which is extremely frustrating, or does a fuzzy screen of death like when a uh, TV has interference, which is terrifying. And most of the time, you just do a sort of hard reset and they come back on. But the other day, mine didn't come back on for like five hours and I was just so sad because I thought I'd lost all my music and Twitter and photos. But then I like tried to do another hard reset, went downstairs, came back up, pressed me to watch and see if anything had happened. And it was on and I was just like, yes, I'm so happy. And then it did it again. And it was off for about 24 hours and I was just like, oh, I've probably lost it this time, no. But then I gave it to my dad and I was just like, oh, he's not going to be able to do anything. And then I came in and he was just like, oh yeah, I fixed it. And I was just like, how did you manage to do that? And he said, oh, you have to do a hard reset. And I said, that's what I've been doing. That's my resuscitation method. And he said, oh yeah, you have to do it for 30 seconds. No one ever told me this. And this has been going on for over a year. I know I should have got it fixed, like, earlier. And I'm an idiot. This 30 seconds. He didn't tell me. I guess the reason I didn't do this is because after about 10 seconds it starts to hurt your fingers. But he said that's the only way to get it to work now. And it was hard enough going 24 hours without my iPod. I don't want to go like until August when I go to Florida without one. Yeah, that's my, my iPod's weird antics. And finally, I know loads of people say this and I doubt I'm going to stick to it, but I'm going to try and make more regular videos. Please don't hold me to it. It probably won't happen. But I have the intention of doing it, so... That's at least something, especially than me just going, lol no, not going to do anything for another three months. So, I want to do stuff, it's just I don't always get inspiration. So, yeah, expect, or don't expect, stuff on this channel. And I will see you later. Goodbye!